Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex here for TechFlow, and today we're going over the cleanest kitchen tech setup. I'm going to go over everything that's on the desk behind me, as well as give you some of my cable management tips for, well, making a setup with zero cables. So, if you're hungry, let's get straight after it. Okay, so let's start front and center with the monitor. This is a really awesome piece, the LG 32UL950. And I like to call this the poor man's pro display XDR because, well, it shares a lot of the features with that monitor, but it's kind of less than half the price. It's still a pretty penny though. So like Apple's Pro Display XDR, it's a nano IPS display, it's obviously HDR, 4K resolution, and it covers 98% of the DCI P3 color gamut. As well as that, it's got Thunderbolt support, which is, well, the main key for making this entire setup cable free. And as usual guys, links to everything we mention in this video, whether I'm actually talking about it or it's just a little knickknack on the desk, it'll be down there in the description below that like button. One of the things I've really been struggling with over the last few months building this setup is actually finding a monitor arm that both looks nice and is white in color. The back of this monitor is completely white and it allows you to actually pull this desk out and the thing doesn't look that bad from the back. Monitor arms are also great because they allow you to clear desk space and that's especially important if if you are, well, dealing with a small desk like this, you can actually put things under the monitor instead of it just being a big, bulky monitor stand. And it also gives you a great place to hide, well, the minimal amount of cables that we've got on this desk. I think there's only two, one to power the monitor and then the Thunderbolt cable off to the MacBook. Now, the actual desk. This is a set of standing legs from a company called FlexiSpot. And with all the moving parts, it was actually surprisingly easy to put together. You get this little silver control unit on the side that has four memory slots, and as well as that, some easy, quick, up and down adjustment. The actual desktop itself is also from FlexiSpot, and they've got a whole range of different wood effects and colors to choose from. The actual top is really light in weight, which gives me great confidence in loading this desk up with all of my heavy boxes that I bring in and put here without damaging the motor. Now, I've messed around with a few of the standing desks in my time. I've got a few at the office, and neither of them have either a anti-collision warning or a child lock system as to which this supports both. Now, moving swiftly on, we've got the accessories that flank the desk. To the right-hand side of the monitor, we've got probably one of my favorite pieces, the Kilburn 2 speaker. Now, keeping the theme wire-free on this setup, the Kilburn 2 supports Bluetooth, which is great for obviously casual listening, which is what we're doing 90% of the time at this setup. But for the time when you want to dial in, let's say do some editing in Premiere Pro or some music production in Logic, you can just connect that speaker with a three and a half mil cable and have real-time listening. And due to the size of the speaker, it actually has a huge battery in it. So for mediocre listening volumes, it will literally last all week without a charge, which is really, really nice. Okay, flanking the other side of the desk, we've got the M1 MacBook Pro. Now, obviously, we're not gonna go too into detail on this. It's sat in a vertical stand. Now, I've had this vertical stand knocking around the office for some time, I forget the name of it, but if I can find it, I'll stick that link in the description. Right in front of that, we've got the Belkin wireless charger. Now, this is a MagSafe charger, but Belkin don't call it a MagSafe charger, but that's exactly what it is. The phone appears to float, as you can see behind me, and it angles the phone towards you so you can see all of your notes notifications. Obviously at the same time it's on charge at about 10 to 15 watts. This thing doesn't break the bank either. It's cheaper than all of Apple's chargers. It's from Belkin. But before we continue, just a quick word from our sponsor, Y Food. So have you ever caught yourself on a busy day? Maybe you're doing far too much work in the office or you're just basically running around doing a million things at once and you're starving because you haven't eaten all day. Nobody wants that. Introduce Y Food. Basically this is an entire meal in a drinkable format. This is the cold brew coffee and it's my last one. So I'm gonna put that back there. We don't have any milk because we don't have a fridge. Luckily enough, these Y foods don't need to be refrigerated for literally over nine months. So you can just chuck it in your bag, forget about it, and then get it out the next day and drink it. We will have our discount link guys in the description below that like button and as a pinned comment. Thanks to Y Food for sponsoring this video. Now back over to the right hand side of the desk, you can see this lamp. And inside of here, we've got a special bulb from a company called Nanoleaf, specifically the Essentials bulb. Now this is a really cool piece because 
because it's about 1799, which in the smart bulb world really isn't that bad, considering that this smart bulb supports thread. Now, if you've been living under a rug, Thread is the next best thing to come and support all of our smart homes. And we've actually done a dedicated video talking about Thread. If you haven't checked that out, click the thing or it's in the description. But yeah, we've got the Nano Leaf Essentials bulb in here connected to the HomePod Mini over Thread. And it works really, really well. And also, can we all just take a second? These two lights behind the monitor from Philips Shoe, specifically the Bloom lights from Philips Shoe, these things came out in 2013, and the day of recording this is 2022, so they're nine years old. Wow, those things haven't aged at all, and they still work really, really well, providing each side of the desk with their own specific light. And it's just nice coming from those Bloom lights. They just, they just really do give off a nice, vibrant glow. We've got this faux leather mouse mat on the table which goes underneath the mouse, and, or should I say trackpad, and keyboard. I really, really like this. It's obviously vegan and it's really cheap, about 15 pounds off Amazon. I like it because it makes the white keyboard and mouse really, really stand out. Moving on from that, we've got these really futuristic little cable management doodads. Let me tell you this, magnets are really, really cool. You basically put any cable inside of the little magnet and then it just sticks onto the pad, leaving it at the side of the desk. And then when you want it, you can just grab it. Now onto the floor, bear with me, there's still a few cool things down here that I think you will be interested in. The first one being this Skydio Studio Light. These are like $49.99 on Amazon and they project, when it's dark, onto the wall, a really cool sort of galaxy effect with a mixture of a laser and an actual projector. The laser does the tiny little dots that you can see and the projector obviously does all of the galaxy blooming effect. Doesn't work very well, if at all, in the daytime, but at nighttime it's really kind of calming to have on and it's just one of those things tell me you're a TikToker without telling me you're a TikToker. <laughs> Now in this current setup, this little Skydio light is currently being powered by an awesome USB-C to USB-C cable. It's awesome because it actually has a little display on it which tells you how many watts the current device it's plugged into is drawing. So this Skydio light is literally using nothing, two or three watts. You plug this thing into a phone or an iPad and you can see that it's drawing 20 to 25 watts. And it's even easier to see if your phone is trickle charging or if it's having its full capacity going into it. I thought this would be a complete gimmick, but like the Skydio light, I think these are really, really cool. And I've grown fond to seeing how much juice is going into my devices. Now this is just your standard charging brick, but it delivers 100 watts and it's cheaper than Apple's variant and it also has some more ports on it. So Apple's actual charger is about 120 watts, but it just has one USB-C port on the output. This has two USB-C ports and a USB-A port. So it's just basically the perfect USB-C charging accessory for, well, your main laptop and all your little peripheral devices. It's just the one that you want to throw in your bag instead of the one that Apple ships with the laptop that can just charge one device at once. At the same time as that, it looks really cool because it's space gray, which is exactly the same color as the laptop that's running the setup. But guys, that's been it. This has been the minimal kitchen setup behind me. Believe it or not, yes, we are actually in my kitchen right now. And how nice does this look behind me? If you guys have got any questions, let us know in the comments. If you enjoy these type of videos, also let us know because we'll do more of them. And yeah, that's been it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.